Yeah. Hey kids, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to the Video Outhouse. Today I'm being joined by... Sweet Dan Sweet. And that means only one thing. It's comic book review time with Sweet Dan. And Dan's got two reviews of two books that are out on the racks right now. Now you can read all of Dan's reviews on the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com. Stop off, read them, check them out. Posts all sorts of stuff there all the time. He's got, he's got hundreds of reviews Brilliant. on the website right now for stuff that's all come out in the last year or so. This time, Dan's got yet another theme show. That's right. Okay, and this theme show is all about comic book characters, old ones, who are being reinterpreted I call it contemporary today. takes on old friends. Contemporary <laughs> takes on old friends. That, and they also share in common, they're on fire on the covers. Yeah, there's lots of fire going there's on. lots of fire going on. First up, first up is DC's adaptation of the Red Circle comic, which is an old Archie character. The Inferno. Red Circle's The Inferno. This was a Archie property. Archie doesn't do anything with their superhero line. It just sort of sits around. And every once in a while, for some reason, they go to DC and say, Hey, you want to do some books for us? They say, Sure, what the hell? So, this is The Inferno. And it's a new take on this character. And how is it? It's not good. Oh, well, screw it's it. It's that simple. <laughs> Forget it. Show's over. No, seriously, this is What's the, wrong with it? This is the second issue of, yeah. of, of the four one-shots that J. Michael Straczynski is doing to reintroduce the Red Circle characters. They did it years ago with the Impact line. Mm -hmm. They're doing it again. Um, Hangman was the last one. Hangman was the first. Yeah. This is the second. It'll be followed by the web and then finally the shield. The idea mm -hmm. is that they're going to spin these four titles off into two books featuring two characters in each one. I'm not feeling the series at all. I, I kind of don't like what J. Michael Straczynski is trying to do. He's he's injecting a, a great deal of a contemporary take on, on the characters, but he's he's so far drowned in the backstory that you, you really don't get any idea of what's going on. Um, this is a direct continuation of the Hangman story. Hangman ends with the Doctor uh, being introduced to a gentleman who is brought into his emergency room and he's, and he's saying this guy's name and, and as it turns out the guy in the bed is none other than Inferno. Uh, this leads to a confrontation between the hangman and Inferno which I, I found very lackluster. Um, the one really weird thing I found is when hangman changes from his civilian identity into the hangman he loses his mustache and the guy who turns into Inferno gains one. Which is really weird. Archie has a weird facial hair thing going on. A theme within a theme. I know. It's, it's, it's a mustache <laughs> mystery within my contemporary take on Old Friends show. I don't know what's going on. I just don't like it. Um... The next one, tends, it kind of looks to be a little bit more interesting, called The Web. As far as I'm concerned, if you have to read the previous two to read that, it's not worth it. Wait until the ongoing series, if, if you even like the characters. But I, I'm kind of not digging the way, and I, I've said this to you before, yeah. J. Michael Straczynski walks into a universe and kind of sets up shop and, and dictates the way things should go, and then kind of wipes his hands and, and passes the torch on to somebody else. And... and uh, I don't know. I, I think if he was really trying to, to recreate these characters, he could have done a lot like he did with the Squadron Supreme Universe or yeah. what he was doing with the 12 over in Marvel until that book up and disappeared as well. Um, I don't know. I, I don't like it. But on the other side of that coin, there's another book out that I really did enjoy that, that kind of is keeping in the theme, and Where's that is... Book? I'll go get it. It's, it's, oh. it's wow, right what a here. coincidence. Right here, Marvel's project. This is Marvel's reimagining of the beginnings of the of the Marvel universe. This is my take on this. Is it's essentially for all of us old farts out there. DC Special number twenty nine, <laughs> JSA. Remember back in the seventies. This is essentially DC Special number twenty nine for the Marvel universe. All Star Squadron, you called it. All Star Squadron. See, here's the thing about it. I've been well, reading, that was actually JSA, but yeah. I, I've, I've been reading a lot of these timely anniversary issues, which kind of introduced me, because I'm, I'm not an old fart, to a lot of the characters like the Angel, H Human Torch, Namor, who, who's still prominent in the Marvel U. Um, but a, a, a whole bevy of other characters were also brought back in, in those one-shots. What Ed Brubaker does is he brings all these characters together. He weaves this tapestry of intrigue and mystery, this very noirish crime story that, that, that he does very well. And, and so when he mixes that with the 30 superheroes, I think there's it, it's a great mix. It's a great combination. You get a great story. You get great art by Steve Epting, who I was originally kind of confused why he wasn't drawing yeah. the, the Captain America miniseries uh, this summer. And thank God he wasn't, because his talent would have been wasted on that crap hole of a book as Reborn? opposed to this. Yeah. <laughs> Please. This this actually feels like it offers some substance and, and might end up uh, 
having some some bearing on continuity. I, I think this is this is a story that uh, has has needed to be told. These characters need to get that spotlight because a lot of them are very rich. Uh, the 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 angel is is one of my my personal favorites because he's much more just a regular guy and and that's a lot of what you see in this is is, is regular guys stepping up and you don't get all the crazy you who's wacko powered guys you got human torch who's a robot you got namor who's a mutant but but everybody else the 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 blonde phantom uh the the angel all that stuff destroyer all, destroyer those were all regular people you know what i mean so i i really like it, and i think ed brubaker was the perfect choice to write this i was skeptical at first and I've, I, I have to admit, I was wrong. I was, I was unjustly skeptical. So thumbs up for this flamer. Get it. Thumbs down for this flamer. Skip it. Okay. That's going to do it for this time. We're done. Read all of Dan's reviews on the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com. He, he posts them up all the time to really me, no and excuses. then I post them up whenever I get around to it. I work really hard. He works really hard. True, true. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And this is Sweet Dan. Saying, bye!